Hey now, Anthony with a and and this is the location where I do my group washes, but I'm not doing group wash today. Today I'm only washing one vehicle for a client that wants her vehicle clean before she go out of town, so uh, she called me out here on a different day, uh, so she'll be playing regular price because I... Uh, I do a discount rate for group washes, but I just wanted to give y'all just a quick overview of the parking lot. It's fenced in. Uh, I have access to water. I have access to electricity, but I still bring my own. Uh, but I just want to talk to you guys about the different types of customers that you're going to run into in this type of business. Uh, whether it be lawn care or car washing or mobile detailing but I get these type of customers a lot when it comes to mobile car washing and detailing uh, you have so much competition so the prices may vary depending on the person and uh, the first type of client that I want to talk about or customer that I want to talk about is the negotiator that's what I call them uh, when they when they approach you they already have a price that they are willing to pay you in their head already and what they do is they uh, they ask you how much do you charge and uh, when you give them their prices they already want to go below the price that you give them so they'll start off by telling you something like uh, well I know a guy that does it for 20 and you know, I know a guy that does it for 15. You know, they're gonna give you some unbelievable low ball price, hoping hopefully you will say, "Yeah, I, I, I'll do it for that." You know. Now, in the beginning, when I first started doing this, that's what I would do. I would, you know, I would take what I could get because, you know, I hadn't, I didn't have much going on, and I wanted the work and the experience. But as uh, my clientele started to grow. Uh, I started raising my prices and uh, now I don't negotiate my prices at all and what ticks me off when they say that because it it, <laughs> it makes me mad when they say that when they say oh, I know somebody didn't do it you know if they tell how much for a basic car wash you know I'll tell them you know for a car 35 bucks I know a guy that can do it for 20 and I want to say to them so bad, well, you need to go to him then, because that's a good deal. <laughs> you need to call him. And But I don't say that. I just smile at them, and I say, oh, that's cool. And, you know, I go back to working, and either they're going to, you know, accept my price, or they're not. You know, who cares? But anyway, the other type of client that you will have is you will have the, and I call them, the all of a sudden OCD client what you know they'll they'll call you up and say hey can you wash my car and you go out there and that car is filthy when I tell you and I mean I'm not talking about dirty I'm talking about filthy inside and out I mean you found in food chicken bones inside the car underwear shoes Anything you can think of is in that car. Dirt, grass, pine straw, everything. And, you know, you tackle that car. You do the best job that you can. And you get that car looking spick and span, looking nice. And then they want to bitch and complain about a spot that's on the window. Or, or some spot that's in an area that most people wouldn't miss anyway. You know, so... I don't like those type of people that pisses me off when when they know that you did a good job but they want to act and 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 you know they want to come out with a magnifying glass and and, 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 and and look at everything with a fine tooth comb and that really bothers me I hate that uh, the other client that you're gonna run across is you're gonna run across that client that's gonna always try to get you to do a little extra for the same price you know they'll be like, well, why you at it? Could you, could you uh, shampoo my carpet? And you and, and they and they they want you to just throw that in, and you be like, well, no, uh, that's gonna that's gonna be extra. Well, can you just get that spot right there? 
well, you know, that's going to be a little extra, you know, and I always tell them that. And so they, so, uh, they know when they're dealing with me that anything that that's extra is going to cost extra. And so, you know, but in the beginning, you know, I understand because I did the same thing in the beginning when I started, you know, I would take low prices. I would do little extra things and won't get paid for it. You know, I just wanted to showcase my skills at the time. But once you establish, you get, get yourself established, don't let these customers run over you. Stand your ground because they will do it. You got some people out there that they, you know, they will do it. Uh, then you got the cheap, you got the cheap customers that they don't want to, they don't want to pay, they don't want to pay you what you worth. And so what happens is, uh, when I first started doing group washes a while back, I used to do cars for $20 and this was just a basic wash, you know, vacuum the interior, wipe it that wipe the interior down, wash the vehicle and uh tire dressing and 20 bucks and uh so what it started to happen was people were showing up with filthy vehicles and 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 and, and it was 20 dollars and i would wash the car them jokers wouldn't even give me a tip and i'm talking about i would spend probably an hour and a half almost two hours on one car because it's filthy and don't you know they won't even give you a tip so I fixed that problem. I went up on the group rate for car washes, and then I put a disclaimer: extremely dirty vehicles will be charged accordingly. And those people stopped coming. I haven't seen them since. So, those are the type of customers you're gonna come across when you're doing this detailed thing. I just want to share my experience with you guys. Talk to you guys later. I see you in the future. Are you listening?